Today we're working on another reach truck. It's a Raymond ECR30TT ETF08. Okay, and um, the problem with this is it seems to be reaching out on its own. Let me show you what's happening right here. Um, race it up a bit. Show you, I just put a block on there. Let me show you what's happening here. I want to get a view of the handle. So, right now, I'm going to try to operate the tilt. Let me reach it back a bit. Right now, it's reaching back. So, no problem as far as reaching out or in. Right? But this is the issue now. If I hit the tilt, see I'm going to hit the tilt. And this is what happens when I hit the tilt. See the actual reach cylinder trying to go? Or if I reach, if I try to retract the tilt, this is what happens. So the question now is, is this an electrical issue or is this an electro-mechanical issue or just a mechanical issue per se hydraulic. So the best way we can do that is to eliminate the uh, electrical, if it is an electrical issue is we're going to try to take out the supply for that reach solenoid. All right? So basically, if we have somehow a signal going into that reach solenoid when we're trying to operate the tilt by me disconnecting the lines to it or the uh, wires going into that solenoid it should prevent the reach cylinder from uh, retracting or reaching out so let's try that try to lift it up a bit and try to operate the tilt again let's see what happens tilt and you can see it's still going back so this is not an electrical issue, this is more going to be a mechanical or hydraulic issue. What I have here is the uh, schematic diagram for the uh, truck that we are working on. Basically this is just the uh, auxiliary part of the hydraulic schematic. So what we've seen on the truck is that when we are trying to retract the tilt, the reach cylinder would try to extend itself. And we know it's not going to be an electrical issue at this point. We know it's hydraulic, right? And so let's try to trace the path for the hydraulic flow now. So for us to retract the tilt, hydraulic flow and pressure would have to come from C1. So we trace it back, it would have to come from A2. So directional solenoid, so the path has to be open open for uh, port number three and port number two on the directional solenoid. So let's try to trace that one out. So from here, port number three, go to number two, A2, and then go to the rod end of that tilt cylinder. Okay, the pressure here, because this is a tilting operation, the equalization valve would essentially be energized, thereby closing the path between uh, the two overmass hoses between this point and that point. But when we're trying to retract the tilt cylinder, hydraulic pressure would also be here, and right here. Now, if this was working correctly, the one-way check valve, hydraulic flow would not be able to go through to the uh, piston end of that reed cylinder. But if somehow this one-way check valve is always open, then there is a way for that to go here and to the uh, piston end of that reed cylinder thereby trying to extend itself okay 
But there's another thing that was happening to it. When we are now trying to extend the tilt cylinder, once the tilt cylinder has maxed out, the reach cylinder now would actually retract itself. So let's try to trace that out again. So for us to tilt up or to extend the tilt cylinder, hydraulic flow has to come from C2, trace it up, A1, and then back to the uh, directional solenoid. So let's try to trace the pressure again. So from here, go to port number three again. This time it's directional A that would be energized. And so the flow would be from three to four. Go here. This is going to be blocked again. Let's go, go through A1. Then go straight to the piston end up that tilt cylinder. But what happens now to the to the uh, hydraulic oil that was in the rod end of that tilt cylinder? So it's going to go here, go out of the tilt solenoid valve, or go to point A2, go to port number two of the directional valve. And so because directional A is energized, so there would be a path from point two to one, and that would go back to the tank. But when the uh, tilt cylinder now, or the tilt rod has maxed out, then the pressure that was created to push the hydraulic oil from the, the rod end of that tilt cylinder to go back to the tank would not be present anymore but we still have the directional valve open to the tank so if again this one-way check valve is still open and I think what's happening is because of the weight of the scissor assembly that weight now creates the pressure to actually push the hydraulic oil back into the tank. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do with the truck now. We are gonna take out that one-way check valve and then Check it out to see if we find it. Okay, so we're taking the carriage assembly out of the truck, and this will be the spot for this one way valve. I don't know if you can see it, but inside there is a metal shred that got stuck. So basically, this check valve is stuck open. That's why it's allowing pressure or hydraulic fluid to go in to the reach cylinder at all times. Okay, so this is the uh, reach cylinder or the right hand reach cylinder on that truck. We decided to take it out to investigate and this is what we found on it. So this is where the metal debris on that um, one way check valve came from. Okay, so we decided to, uh, because we don't have the parts right now, we decided to clean the um, one-way check valve. Make sure that there were, there's no more uh, metal debris. And this is how it's working right now. So we're tilting up. Down, side shift. Reaching back, forward. That's it, we call this a fix.